Okay, let's talk about the smart carb. Put an hour on it, like they said, a little over an hour, about an hour and 25 minutes. Got it real hot, where the fan's kicking on. Went up there and drug the clutch a ton, get the engine super hot. Um, I came down two clicks, felt more powerful from stock. Stock was 81 clicks, came down two clicks, felt more powerful. Um, came down and then went and did some stuff or some splatters and stuff and it was a lot better just with those two clicks ended up coming down two more clicks and set the idle a little bit so that's a minus four clicks from 81 um and uh i think that's richer based on the manual i don't know whatever counterclockwise two clicks um yeah so anyway total i came down minus five clicks and turned the idle up um clockwise um believe that's leaner from what the manual says i'll have to look at that again so that's what i've done is go up one and a quarter turn and then uh back five clicks on the top and wow yeah my neck is sore i <laughs> went and splattered a tire like i normally would do and gave it the normal throttle and yeah, she jumped. I probably cleared six or seven feet from flat ground right onto it, just off a little rock. Nailed it, it snapped back so hard. My, I don't know, my neck is sore now. <laughs> I popped it, kind of caught me by surprise. So huge smile on my face, but yeah, a lot powerful. They say only eight to 14% increase in power, but even after doing all that jetting, needle jet and everything, this is a lot a lot more responsive right in that quarter to mid range i mean the top it gets to the top faster um a lot more response so the top is already pretty amazing on the sureco it's a 302 stroke but the top is pretty amazing even with that net gnarly pipe but uh but yeah now it climbs from that uh eighth throttle to three quarter throttle super fast rips through the revs super fast so trying to do your splatters and and climbing stuff like that it's a lot more responsive and it's catching a lot more traction than i thought so too i mean i had the ix09 get coated tire on um with about five hours on it you know some of these are tearing off i did green mountain twice with it and enduro cross track probably like 15 or about nah, maybe 25 laps on the enduro cross track and stuff here and you know so yeah she's ate up some of these are almost ripped clean off there's a couple on the other side i think are like ripped off but anyway this is a smart car review so the idle sounds pretty good i need to get the idle up just a tiny bit higher The power increase on this thing is insane. Insane. I didn't notice any power increase with the Electron on my 300 Husky, my 18. I didn't notice anything more powerful. All I noticed is it was uh, when I finally got the second one that it was uh, more, it was just a, uh, the range, it, did, it didn't just stall out on me and die. Okay, so like the Makuni carb was such a nightmare. I would jet that on the trail. That's how terrible that carburetor was. I would literally go up 1,000, 2,000 feet, rejet it, finish the day off, come down, rejet it, or I'd be fouling plugs. I'd have to take, I took eight plugs with me in the middle of a race and change out two in the middle of a race. That's, that's ridiculous. But anyway, with the smart car or the electron on that, I didn't notice any power increase. If not, it took it away a little bit. And I was running the Demon Spring in that, the red one. And I didn't notice anything special about that system. But this, dear God. <laughs> like, I got whiplash just now or something. My neck is sore from splattering a log. The first log, I didn't even touch the log. Or uh, splattering the tire, sorry. The first time I tried it, I didn't even touch the log. I jumped clean over this log, and it's probably 
12, 13 inches tall or something like that. And I was like, oh my God. And the second one, when I did the tire, I launched it from about six feet away and cleared that space, hit the tire, but it came up so hard and so like brutally that like my neck cracked. You can just like hey, all the way back. So I'm super, 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 super impressed with this. I got some more fine tuning, get my idle set where I want it, a little bit higher. But geez, man, that's what I've been looking for. I was like getting very discouraged with the Sherco, not getting the power. <laughs> Compare it to my Husky TE300i mod. No, it's not as strong still as my Husky cranked up, but it's as strong, if not stronger than the Husky where it's at now, which is manageable for the Husky. So it's stronger than my Husqvarna at its current state but when i you know program the ecu i can make the husky an absolute lethal monster that will clear some terrain when you smash that throttle and dump the clutch so not as crazy good as the husky tpi system that i've done but stock wise if you took the stock to stock with a tpi ktm stock to stock but you add uh, a smart carb stock to stock sure goes more nimble maybe just the same horsepower as a stock husky don't know exactly uh, my husky felt super lame i mean i was literally ripped the bike apart i thought it was maybe like a 150 when i first got I was like this is the lamest bike i've ever ridden um but after i did the tpi mod and the reflash on the ecu and the second tune i put in it it was an absolute monster so let's compare that to what my husqvarna is cranked up this thing's not cranked up doesn't have a new head and all that stuff but cranked up total maximum power out of the husky this is nearly there so what the husky is now where i detune it to get traction and get all my technical stuff this has more power than that right now so the guys that know my husqvarna right now the murder hornet this thing's more powerful than that right now. It's impressive. Um, so it's electric. It's the power hit is electric. It's just you flip a switch and she's in your face. So kind of like my wife whenever, you know, you know, kind of like Catherine sometimes. <laughs> she just smacked the hell out of me for saying that. Anyway, uh, but yeah, the power just feels electric. Like you twist a throttle and boom, you know, it's right there. So... That's my honest review. I Like I said, I came into the skeptical. I got burned by Electron pretty good. And if they're watching this, it sucks, dude. You like, make a better product. You don't make a bad, bad product, but your new customer service needs to step the fuck up because that pisses me off. But anyway, Smart Carb is, had amazing customer service. Kirk called me like five times to make sure... I was getting my product and make sure he's like, I, it's coming off the line. I didn't even hassle the guy. He hassled me. He just let me know they, like every couple of days. Hey, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> hell yeah, Kirk. So we spent some time on the phone. He's, he's a badass dude. That guy's super awesome. So Kirk, you're awesome. Man, I love it. I did everything he said. Tuned it all up. Now I just got to mess my eye a little bit. So hell yeah, guys. So I recommend this SC2. I mean, putting my stamp on it bam dude get your carbureted bike and throw that on because but at the end of the day that thing right there you can do this yourself and tune it up and and get more over the same power as bringing your ktm tpi mod bikes to me and me tuning them up and them being lethal this is easy it took me to install this with tuning everything up with a carbide burr it actually took longer to clean up the plastic on the inside of the of the boot and everything then it took me longer to clean things up than it actually did to do the modification and mount this thing so you know it didn't take me long I, I had the subframe off this thing in about 10 minutes had the cutting you know everything marked out in about 12 15 minutes had it all back together and and just about maybe an hour total and uh yeah so i highly recommend that smart card I'm super impressed. Now I'm like, man, I should just stay with Sherco for sure. I was wondering. I was like, man, maybe I should go back to a TPI. Maybe Gas Gas or Husky again. 
figure it out i wasn't for sure i was like this doesn't have the power i want it has the lightness and nim nimbleness and the suspension is amazing uh it's stock of all things it's like what anthony likes st this a uh, stock suspension that's crazy because i like I, i'm a fiddler i like messing with my suspension so anyway i don't want to sound like i'm ranting or anything but uh out of five i mean review five out of five it caught up i put it on didn't touch it fired up bam that's like two and a half stars right there you know immediate power increase even though i jetted the hell out of my can and i love can carburetors i jetted the hell out of it and just couldn't figure out what i wanted couldn't find what i wanted even with the suzuki needle and all that stuff talked to factory one told them they checked it out checked the maps did all that stuff so cody thanks a lot dude um but yeah this smart carb immediate power increase that's another like two stars easy to tune it took me 15 minutes after getting it hot to kind of mess around it's nearly perfect gotta adjust my idle that'll come but uh dude oh my god i might detune it just a little bit because <laughs> that thing is wicked now dude wicked all right thanks a lot smart carb amazing product i'd never give anything a five out of five i always say there's room for improvement i'm a military guy honestly i mean maybe some bling maybe i need to get a new float bowl that's but i like black you know what would be badass this black i like black i like black stuff i like stuff murdered out some okay so a 4.9 that's just because i want i want this to be black i might sear coat it maybe i won't but it's beautiful but i want it black all right that's it <laughs> badass and i can tip my bike over and it doesn't leak anywhere so hopefully i get that blue one going the right direction i think so there a badass product thanks guys